Hey Air Signs, this is your girl Hill Feminine back at you again with another video. This is the element edition for the signs of air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Um, I have moved everything over here to YouTube, so this is where you can hear my messages and my see my readings. I'll be here full time. Um, I have moved from Facebook and Instagram, so if you were looking for me, this is where I will be full time. Um, but first things first, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, everything you would need to know is in the description bar. If you would like to tip, donate, or sew into my channel, I really appreciate that. Thank you for those who have tipped, donate, donated, and sewed into my channel. Thank you. But everything you would need to know is in the description bar. But let's go ahead and get into the prayer, and then we can get started. Ancestors and spirit guides of my highest white light, highest good, I give you full permission to channel through me to give me clear, concise, accurate, honest answers and clarity for the sign of air. Archangel Michael, um, protect me and cover me as I read for the signs of air. Um, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Thank you. All right, spirit, what's the tea for the air signs? What's going on? What's going on for the element edition for the signs of air? What's going on? But like I should say, hey, y'all. <laughs> Since I spoke to everybody else, hey, y'all. Okay, so we got the tower card here in reverse. Um, avoiding an unnecessary um, situation or unnecessary things or events. Avoiding things or not even paying get any attention with this tower card here in reverse. So I'm getting the energy that some past things are coming up or resurfacing that once had you like in a chokehold or once had you like really in a way that you kind of like wanted to entertain it. So I'm getting the energy that you guys are ignoring a lot of things or ignoring some, you know, some petty things or moving out of the way of things that no longer serve you. Um, whatever this is, is someone that wants to gain your attention or basically drag you into something. Um, this energy was the same kind of energy from the fire sign reading where somebody wants to pull them into something. So whatever this is, is going on with Mercury retrograde. Somebody wants to pull you into something or have you in a situation that does not have anything to do with you. But I'm more so air sign. I do see you avoiding it, you know, not even paying attention to it. Um, but also with this tower card here in reverse, somebody in your energy feels as though that you're bougie, that you no longer pay them any attention or you're not allowing them to, you know, get allowing them to get to you anymore more we have the hangman card here in reverse so you're doing a lot of thinking but not moving so much but you are doing a lot of thinking and spirit is saying although that you're not move, just taking a lot of action they're saying do take your time with this hangman card here in reverse do take your time because i am getting a lot of ideas where you're going to either act on it or you're going to either move on it but whatever this is spirit is saying this is good but they're saying as soon as you feel comfortable because I am getting the energy of some of you guys have to collect some things or get some more information and spirit is saying that it is fine they are downloading more things into you with this hangman card here in reverse but spirit is saying you are coming up with a lot of great ideas but when it's time to actually move spirit is saying do move do not stay stuck or stay stagnant with this tower card here in reverse and this um hangman in reverse they're saying don't allow anything to get into your way there i am getting a, a lot of energy where you're trying to come up with more ways to make money or you're adding on some things to your business or you're thinking about creating new things spirit is saying it is going to work for you so whatever Whatever this energy is that you have or you're holding on to before you waiting a second before you actually can get some things cleared out spirit is saying that it is going to be quite lucrative spirit is saying it is going to work for you so whatever this is that you are working on it is going to be rather lucrative um we do have the six of cups here in reverse um not sharing <laughs> i'm hearing um no <laughs> no 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 so whatever this is with this six of cups here in reverse, it is, you do recognize that it's a lot of people that feel like that they benefit off of you or they can get something from you. And your energy is more so, no, like what did you give me or when were you there for me? And Spirit is saying, okay, we get it. We know that, you know, that it was a time where people were being selfish to you. But they're saying don't be selfish to people that where it's not warranted because there are people that come towards you and it is people that's in your energy that do need you. So I am getting like a lot of heavy thinking with this hangman card here in reverse and this six of cups in reverse in this tower in reverse. You're trying to avoid situations where you overgive. So some of you guys have been burned where you have overgave to situations or you overgave to people. 
and you're trying not to, you know, get in that, you're not, you're trying not to be in that energy anymore. So you've kind of taken a step back, but spirit is more so saying, use your discernment. They're saying that everybody is not out to get you. Everybody is not out to use you. Although that you might feel like some unfortunate situations may have happened in the past, but spirit is saying that more so you just use your discernment. Everybody is not out to get you. It's okay to do share. We have the two of pentacles here in reverse. Um, walking away so you have walked away from things that no longer serve you you recognize that you are not getting your needs met or you are not getting the appreciation that you were or you were not getting the love or you were not getting what you wanted out of the situation so i am getting a lot of walking away i am getting the energy that some of you guys are either quitting jobs or letting things go that no longer serve you with this two of pentacles here in reverse um, especially surrounding around a job situation where you was doing most of the work and you were not getting any funds or you were not getting any money or you were not getting the pay that you deserve or you were not getting the love, the appreciation. But whatever this is, you have made a decision to actually move away from this because this is not going in the in the way that you want it to go or you're not receiving what you think you should get out of it. And Spirit is saying this is good because they have been trying to move you away from it for quite some time. They said that they... Ooh, damn. Excuse me. Hold on, y'all. The, the damn car. <laughs> we almost got a lot to say. All right, I'm back. <laughs> y'all probably like, girl, we can't see you no way. But yeah, walking away from a job or walking away from things that no longer serves you with this two of pentacles. So you recognize like, okay, like I'm doing too much over here and I'm not getting anything from this or I'm constantly helping people or I'm constantly doing this, 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 and this, and I'm not getting anything in return. And Spirit of Sin, they have been urging you for quite some time to move away from things that no longer serve you. But now that you have moved away from this with the Two of Pentacles, they're saying that you're opening up for more blessings and you're opening up for more things to come towards you. Because with the Six of Cups here in reverse, you recognize that it was no equal give and take. And a lot of people depended on you for selfish reasons, trying to get what they are, getting their needs met but you were not getting your needs met. So Spirit is saying you did the right thing by avoiding this situation and moving away with the Tower card here in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands here. It's showing up as somebody is coming towards you. So whoever this person is, they they are coming towards you mainly to, to be intimate with you. So I am getting a lot of intimate energy where this person wants to basically get their needs met, where it's something like really, really quick. It's nothing like long lasting with this Knight of Wands. But Spirit is more so saying that whoever this person is to you or whoever this person is that's coming in your energy. Yeah, so with this Knight of Wands, it's basically like whoever this person is that's trying to come towards you. They're coming towards you for selfish needs. They are mainly don't have anything to offer you, but they're coming in rather fast, basically, to get their needs met, whether it's something intimate or some type of ego stroking. So it's stemming around that they want you to be of benefit to them, but they don't want to be of any benefit to you. So it's mainly like selfish needs. So whatever they want, they don't have anything to offer you, especially financially, because with this Knight of Wands here, this person is mainly on hard times. I'm picking up hard time energy with this Tower card here reversing this Knight of Wands. So they have fallen on hard times and they feel like that they can come over to your house for a hot in the cot. But Spirit is saying, don't let this person come into your house or come into your life or come into your energy. Whoever this person is to you, they don't they don't have shit to offer you, first of all. Second of all, with this Six of Cups here in reverse, they don't have anything to offer you, but mainly something to be intimate and they're avoiding or they're running from a situation and they feel like they can find refuge within you or solace or whatever this is they feel like they can get their needs met with you and spirit is saying do not equal give and take with this person with this six of cups here in reverse because i'm not sure who this person is somebody from your past or somebody that's new or whatever this is but spirit is saying don't even waste your time or waste your energy air sign dealing with this type of person but it's more so lingering from somebody in the past that you either avoid exactly with the two of swords here this is somebody that you were in a connection with or somebody you were dealing with in the past with this two of swords and they had you like 
blind to their BS or they had you, you know, more so in your head about them when you were dealing with them. But Spirit is saying with this two of swords here is that they're coming in closed off with nothing to offer you with this two of swords. They're coming in closed off. They're coming in with a one track mind basically to get their needs met. So Spirit is saying they are, they have a lot of emotions, but the emotions are not from you. So they're running away from something and they're trying to run into your arms because you kind of like helped them or you did something for them or you were some type of benefit. Yeah, exactly. With the six of swords here in reverse. Yeah, like you, you, you guys had like some type of connection. They cut you off. They either ghosted you or whatever this is. But now they're trying to come back up because somebody didn't hurt their feelings. Somebody didn't broke up with them. Somebody didn't left them alone. But now they're trying to come back to you. But Spirit is saying, avoid this situation at all costs with this Tower card here in reverse. Avoid this situation because they're not going to do anything but with this Six of Swords come in and try to waste your time and waste your energy. We have the Queen of Swords here. Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying cut this off. Cut whatever this off. But more so with this Queen of Swords here. A lot of people have been thinking you have been a little snappy or a little on edge. Not saying it's true. Not saying that it's not. But you're coming across as a little snappy and a little on edge to a lot of people. But I am getting the energy that a lot of you guys are just holding up your boundaries and they can't take it due to the fact of you allow certain things to slide for so long. But with the queen of swords here, spirit is saying, although that you have been in the energy of letting things slide and now you're not the one to be played with, or now you're not tolerating it anymore with the tower card here in reverse spirit is saying, still kind of watch that, still watch that energy because they don't want you to run the risk of taking that out on anybody by just having these emotions or this energy of I'm I'm not the one to be played with so spirit is saying direct it where it's warranted but more so they're saying kind of like dial it back a little bit you know like kind of like you know give it to where it's warranted to have your boundaries up with whoever you need to have them up against with the moon card here is showing up if somebody is trying their best to like hold a secret from you or they're trying to keep something away from you or trying to push you out of something with this moon card here. But spirit is saying no matter what they're trying to keep away from you or what they're trying to avoid, they're saying that it is going to come out. I am getting some type of sneaky energy surrounding around some money. So whatever this is, it is coming up as family related where somebody has something from you or whatever this is surrounding around money, but it's a hidden thing. I am picking up this is something that happened from childhood where somebody was supposed to give you something and they did not give it to you they avoid it. they're avoiding the situation because they know that they did something that wasn't right with the money so i am getting like a lot of hidden energy with this moon card where somebody know that they kept something away from you whether it's money information or um, something that could be beneficial to you, but I am getting that it's getting ready to come up. So whoever this is that was hiding it from you with this queen of sources person is going to try to get an attitude when you do find out about it. So whatever this energy is where somebody was hiding something from you, whether it was money or information or whatever this is, it's something stemming around childhood. Childhood energy is coming up heavily childhood where somebody hid something away from you. But whoever this person is with this queen of swords, they are going to try to be on the defense or they're going to try to act like that no, I didn't do this. Oh, you're wrong or blah, blah, blah. But spirit is saying you already know what you know. I am getting some intuitive energy with this Empress card. So you already pretty much predicted this or you have sensed whatever this is. But with this Empress card as well, spirit is saying you are looking rather attractive. You are looking good. I am getting a lot of um, you guys are dieting or you're changing your wardrobe or you're changing your hair or you're doing a lot of things different. But spirit is saying that also with this Empress card here, that you are getting more heavy into your spirituality or you're getting more heavy into your healing journey or just, you know, implementing a lot of things. I am getting a lot of prayer, a lot of um, gifts, a lot of speaking with the divine and spirit is saying that they do enjoy that. They do appreciate you for that. But more so with this Empress card here, you are getting back in tune with you. You are letting go and you are cutting away a lot of old things. And spirit is saying that they are proud of you for doing that with this Empress card. I am getting comfortable energy where a lot of you guys are appreciating yourself and you're allowing yourself to be um to take things in whether it's love or kindness or you're allowing people to do things for you with this empress card yeah i am picking up a, like a lot of comfortable energy whether you're either pampering yourself or you're doing something really really kind what else we got spirit 
So we got the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Somebody is sad over you. Um, I am getting a disconnect from where you were once cool with a feminine energy. So this is coming up as feminine energy, but masculines, they can have feminine energy as well. So place it where it needs to be. But whoever this person is with this Queen of Cups here in reverse, this person is sad. They are missing you, but their energy is coming up as misdirected with this Queen of Cups. So they are coming across as a little bit irrational. So you might sense the energy of like, damn, is this person crazy or something or what is going on? Because their energy is running from hot to cold because they see that you have you have moved on and you have started new things. So Spirit is saying this person energy is a little all over the place, but they do miss you a lot with this Queen of Cups here in reverse. Not sure who this person is, but with the um, Seven of Wands here ending the reading, you are guarded towards this person. You are very guarded towards them and you refuse to let them back into your energy so they they act as though that they don't care but then they'll text you and say like things and then they won't text you so it's some hot and cold energy i'm not sure who this person is to you but their energy is ranging from like up down side to side so spirit is saying keep your guard with this person keep your guard against this person keep this person out because what they are having is like some emotional emotional difficulties that are going on in their life and it can spill over to you especially if you don't communicate with this person or you communicate with them for certain type of reasons they're saying keep your boundaries and keep your guard up because whatever this is that they are dealing with it can spill over to your life they do have this thing where like bad luck like kind of follows them and they're trying to give it to you or they're trying to you know get you wrapped up in the spirit is saying avoid them at all costs because they do have like some bad karma they do have some things that are lingering some dark energy so spirit is saying yeah keep your distance away from this person with this seven of wands here because whatever this is that they are going through or whatever this is that they are dealing with it does run the risk of you know whatever is on them or with them is attaching itself to you so spirit is saying if you have not avoided this person all of the way they're saying cut this person away from your life it's not even worth it because what they can do is they could slow down so many things in your life because of what is going on and there's in a karma or the things that they are are reaping at the current moment so if you have not still if you have not hold your put some healthy put some heavy boundaries against this person but if you have spirit is saying keep them because this person is going through so much and they do not deserve any time or a place into your energy but that is your reading um air signs for the signs of libra Gemini and Aquarius. Um, this is your girl Hill Feminine. I would like to got to thank you guys for tapping in with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to share. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, only thing you would need to do is hit the description bar. If you want to donate or sell into my channel, I appreciate that as well. Everything you need to know is in the description bar. But I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.